We do not threaten children. In fact, <laughs> that pisses us off. As in Operation No Grace. <laughs> As in Westboro Baptist Church. Anybody who threatens and hurts kids, we're on your ass. And we ain't. We're going to keep on. And we're going to find out. We're going to put you down. And that's the that's the thing. We do not threaten kids. So this idea that happened a few weeks ago that the masked men were threatening kids, you know that's a lot, correct? Yeah. We do not agree with that. Whoever called in a bomb threat, that was not any of us, I can guarantee that. We do not threaten kids at all. And we definitely don't go, we definitely are not, no, in no way at all supportive of anybody who puts on a mask and goes door to door looking for people as a witch hunt. That's, we do not do that, correct? Yeah. I mean, I want to let everybody know, we, we do not do that. We are a peaceful people. We are from all over the place. We are all over the planet. We, there, we are everywhere. And here's what I can understand. This, this actually got to go then to, to the next thing I, 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 that I was just thinking about. When it comes to kids, and that's bullying. This, we're, we're here to call it in to bullying and violence and, and, and assault and rape. And, and bullying, it starts, you know... If, 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 if you're at school or was in school and you see him where the one person was trying to get bullied and then they have to kind of go through their, 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 their school years still getting bullied, they're going to get, they're going to get messed with all the time. And that's not right, is it? Oh. I mean, I don't know how many victims of bullying we have here, but it's, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. That doesn't need to happen. And I can't understand why people don't. Stop it. I can't understand why people don't stop it. If, if I know most of people here that if you was someplace and you seen somebody getting bullied, what would you do? Stop it. You'd stop it. Because that's what that's what stopped it. And we gotta be cool to people. We gotta be nice. And and look out for each other. I mean, we, we're the ones that are, we're on this, I mean, we're brothers and sisters, really. We're humanity. Yeah. We're, we're human. Correct? Yeah. And so why don't we start, why, why, why is it taking this long to stand up for, for this stuff when people should be stopping it? I cannot understand why somebody for 12 minutes on a video would make fun of something like this without turning it in. Without reporting it, that's a major That's problem. Right. Right. That's right. I can't understand why 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 they would carry a person from party to party without taking her home and they know where she lives. Right. Yeah. I can't. I mean, what what goes through your head? What what? I'd like to ask them. Who taught you that? Because I personally don't believe it was the parents that taught them that at all. Their parents taught them. You know, they're they're, they're good people. Huh? We have opinions of that. We have opinions of that. It's not. And it's that thing of it's lack of humanness. It's 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 that lack of love. It's it's that lack of of of, of respect. Of res yeah, lack of caring. And lack of standing up just for somebody who's who, who's who's you know if somebody's throwing up in a bathroom, you take care of them, correct? Yeah. For Christ's sake, you take care of them. If it's a girl, you hold her hair back. You make sure they don't die. You don't carry them around from party to party. Am I right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. if we were here, right? I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. Thank you. You know, I love it. This is funny to bring this here because. I personally think the golden age of America was the 50s. How about the city government is just fucking making fucking baby cake with her parents have to fucking work instead of fucking having one girl to lose her hair and teach her kids morals? That's what I was thinking. We got a 16 year old kid, 16 year old, 5 year old kid, you know what I mean? That's exactly it. It's the culture. The culture.
sorcerer has decided to take up this whole thing by themselves and run with it. And that's the problem. I mean, turn, I mean, this, this whole idea that you have to work overtime, keep going, keep working, keep working to keep things up, that's part of the, it's just, that's evil, really, when it comes down to it, because the golden age of this country was when they did look out for each other, correct? Yeah! You know, when you got in trouble for chewing bubble gum, and I know that sounds kind of old-fashioned and stuff, but for Christ's sake, at least they, nobody was shooting up, you know, taking guns down, nobody, you know, there wasn't bullying, there wasn't stuff like this. The culture has created something we have to change, and that's why we're here. We have to change that. Love thy neighbor! Love thy neighbor! Accountability. Zero I mean, where was where that? Where's that mentality? And not, and not a, not a great true mentality. I'm talking about a true mentality where if one of your buddies go down, you help them out. Where's that at? They do have that on their football team, and that's sometimes a major problem. So here's, here's what I'm saying. I just can't understand. We've got to, we've got to, we've got to just stop. We've got to stop letting this stuff slide. If you see something going on, you just jump in. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Right. Yeah. And what are they gonna do? Right. Yeah, it's unity. We're gathered here, man. It's here to church. And this, and this, you know, funny. There's only a few of us here, but I know that there's thousands watching all over the world right now and I'm talking to them too. Like, stand up, look for your brother, look out for your neighbor. Don't go home and just, you know, pull in the driveway and go and lock the door to shut your windows and be left alone. And I know social media is starting to do that. But we're all friends on social media. I got plenty of brothers and sisters on social media, correct? Yeah. We all look out for each other on there. Right. How come it doesn't happen you know, how come it doesn't happen in quote unquote real world? Whatever you want to believe that is. Right? Right, yeah. I just, I just, the more I, I read and the more I watch, the more I actually realize, like, something's wrong with the culture. And I'm not saying something's wrong in Steubenville, because it's not Steubenville. Everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> Dr. Phil was correct about that. That was a pretty interesting show, would you agree? Yeah. <laughs> um... Joe was invited to come here and speak. She's still in Chopin A. Um, we've invited many people. But that was but he's right. This is this is this not a Steubenville problem. So I personally don't like the idea that Steubenville is taking a slap for this. But I also realize, I also realize that this men are the rape crew because they're not boys. Boys know, you know, boys don't do that. Men do. It's adult crime, and I don't care what anybody says, it's adult crime. It is, it's an adult crime. When you, when you, you know what you're doing. You can't blame it because, you know, somebody's drunk. I, I can't understand this. I mean, girls need to feel safe. They do. The girls need to feel safe. I can't understand. You know? Girls want to go out and have fun and have a few drinks. They want to feel safe. That's the point. You know? And guys, what's our responsibility to the women? To keep them safe. To protect them. Even if you don't know who they are. I can't tell you how many times I've been out and I have seen a guy push a girl or something. And it, our crew is on that dude. And I won't go into what happens, but that's what happens. That doesn't work when I'm around. If I was even in the same. I mean, it just doesn't work. But what I'm saying is, like, I, I, we got to, we got to, this is just not a Steubenville problem. This is, this is, Steubenville does not need to take any more slash for this. But here's something they got to understand, that this man of the right crew was trying to shame this girl, and you know what, they brought shame to their whole town. They brought shame to their whole town, and then they're trying to blame us, because we'll look at the negative attention. Uh, come on. Got men from your own town do something, and then they brag about it first. All we did was resurface it. And they went to believe Hawkins and Volvo. 
You can believe that, but all we did was resurface it, because that's what we do. You called us here, Steubenville. Correct? Yeah. You called us here for the, for the fun of it. We have to have a reason here, and you called us here.